Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be an all matte soft glam makeup tutorial. I am so happy with the way it turned out and I I actually really like a matte face. I didn't think I would, I'm not gonna lie. I came, went into this video a bit apprehensive but I'm so happy with the way that it turned out and yeah, if you want to see how I achieved this look then just keep on watching. Hello. To start this tutorial off, as you can see, I have done my eyebrows off camera. I was trying a new, new technique out. I don't know if they look any different. I know I can notice the difference, but today we're gonna to be doing a soft glam look, like I said in my intro, and we're gonna be using the Makeup Geek Single Eyeshadow Pans. They're really inexpensive, and they're gonna do the job fine today. So, we're gonna I'm gonna to have to take these out and know all the names, but, we are going to take Wild West on a small defined brush, if I can find it. So in one of my last videos, I did talk about the Sigma E36 brush. So we're just gonna start off with that in the shade Wild West. And we're just gonna map out a new crease, essentially. Because I have really hooded eyes, I have to go just above to open up my eye essentially so we are actually just going to wing this look out today so i want to create the wing with this brush because it's super easy to do and then this isn't very soft glam this is very dark so once you've kind of mapped out where you want the eyeshadow to go you're just going to take a big fluffy brush i'm going to take the e40 sigma brush and just gonna buff that out with like a really really light hand because although we want to blend it we don't want to move it around the eyelid oh I also forgot to mention that I use the P. Louise eyeshadow base but if you've watched all my videos you should know by now that's all I use now don't worry so much about it kind of flicking all over the place here because we are going to clean it up but once that's all blended out I'm just going to take the um, Jaclyn Hill JH32 which is more of a pointed fluffy brush and we're going to take a lighter shade, we're just going to take Frappe, oh my god I used to love this, literally just lightly dusting it over the edges so it's more of a gradient, there we go, like so as you can see I've kind of gone quite far out but it's fine, we'll, we'll figure that out. So after that, I am actually gonna take my new favorite brush, which is the angled brush from Sigma. And it has literally changed my life. It's made my life so much easier. So this is the E65, which like I said, is literally just like a small angled defined brush. And we are going to go in with Mocha, and then we're just going to create a wing with brown eyeshadow. So I'm actually gonna have to, mm. oh my God, why are you saying that? Jesus Christ. Okay, so as I was rudely interrupted by my good friend here, we're just gonna take the, um, we're just gonna take Mocha and we're gonna create a wing. I actually can't believe how much that, that literally shut me up so much. Okay, sort of like that. So now that you have done your wing, we're now going to get a really small pencil brush. I'm just gonna use the JH38 shade Americano, which although it is a brown, it's got a really nice purple undertone to it. And we're just gonna take that into the outer corner crease, just kinda to really like deepen it up because we want it to flick back. So you're kind of almost joining the wing together. Okay, so once you've done that, you are just gonna go in with a fluffy brush again and I'm just gonna go back in with the E40 from Sigma and really remember to come in from different directions as well because I don't want it to move much from my crease. I'm going in with a downwards motion so it won't move it upwards, which is not what we want. If needs be, just go back in with your wing. Now that that is all blended to my desire, we're now gonna do a really pale, like pinky nude on the lid. So it really brightens up the eyelid. So I'm just gonna use the P. Louise flat shader brush and we're gonna go in with creme brulee. Wow, who remember? Well, I remember when it used to be my transition shade. Literally just kind of placing it as if you were to do a cut crease. 
So once that colour is set down, I'm just going to take the pencil brush that I had earlier and I'm mixing between Wild West and Americano and I'm just going to define my cut crease essentially. So I'm just literally just placing the colours in and then with a fluffy brush brushing it out. So now we just want to clean up what we've done just to kind of define this edge a bit more. So I, I'm just taking a makeup wipe and with my finger with my finger just sharpen it up like so. So my soft glam ended up being not so soft so this is going to be more of a sultry smoky eye. <laughs> So now that that is done, I'm just going to quickly do the other eye off camera and then we will move on to base. Okay, so now we're going to move on to base. Now, normally I like a really dewy, wet looking base, whereas today I'm going to do more of a matte finish. Let's see how this works on my skin. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with my foundation. So the foundation I'm going to be using is the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation. And I'm just going to take that on no, my Sigma Dua Fiber, which is the F50. And I'm literally just going to pump some pumps on my face and blend it in. As I mentioned in my monthly favorite favorites video, this brush is honestly amazing. I don't know how it's going to do too well covering my hormonal spots at the minute, but we'll soon see. Now for places like my forehead, I just use the smaller brush that I've got. This is the uh, Small Duo Fiber F55, just because I do feel like the F50 is quite large for my forehead and I don't actually have that big of a forehead. So this helps get full coverage without messing up my eyebrows, which is why I, ha I had the base on at the top. So I didn't need to go too close. Now I do leave it quite sparse around my under eye just because I don't want to have multiple layers on my under eye so I'll just save that for concealer which I do use the P. Louise base in the shade 2 and I literally just put the smallest amount under my eyes like you literally do not need a lot with this. Then I will use my foundation brush. This is the Sigma F60 and I feel like this works really well with the base because it's thicker than a concealer but not too thick where it's not blendable it literally just melts it into the skin so once that's all blended in I do just go back in with my foundation brush just so it all blends nicely together there we go like so like so now that I have done concealer I'm now going to do bronzer and contour so as it is going to be a matte look, I was I would normally use a cream concealer, but I'm going to use powder today, and we're going to set our under eye as well. So, mind the base on the top. I use this to put my bases on all the time. It's probably really unhygienic, but it's so useful. So I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier, I'm going to set underneath my eyes, which I don't normally do because I'm dry so this is going to be fun i like to use a large shader for under my eye because i only really do it where needs be but i mean i know this is a matte look but i cannot bake because of how dry my skin gets i can't bake like at all okay so now that that's all set in place we are now going to contour now i mentioned in my monthly favorites about this new cheek leader palette Oh, I've got hair. This is what we're going to be using today. I am actually going to go in with my uh, large angled contour brush and I'm going to pop into Hoola and and it also gives some colour back as well and some definition. So now for nose contour, I'm still going to use Hoola but I'm going to take a eye shading brush which is the E55 and it's quite a dense brush but it's honestly so good for nose contour so I literally put like the smallest amount on my brush and I start from the top 
and make my way down it's gonna look crazy to begin with because I'm just mapping out where I want my contour to be but then we're gonna blend it in so yeah this is a really good brush for like mapping out where you want your contour and then with a clean fluffy brush <laughs> clean blend it out now that nose contour is done we're now going to go in with blush so i'm going to use the coralista from the same palette we used the contour in and with my jh04 which is sort of like the contour brush i'm just going to dip this in and then i'm going to flick it off my cheeks and you want to like pout or smile so you know where the apples are but then we're going to bring it back right in, into the contour you see how when i was flicking it off my cheek it's easier to build because if you're going straight in like so it um can give you harsh lines so i'm now going to do my lower lash line so i'm just going to go in with my mascara this is the maybelline lash sensational lash multiplying mascara this is the only mascara i use everything every other brand i've used just does not seem to work so i'm just going to use this mascara and i'm just going to do a coat on my bottom lashes so i'm just going to lip line my lips with the nyx lip liner in the shade london as i've got hormonal spots around my lips it looks like I haven't drawn my lip liner on properly, but I promise I have. And I'm just gonna colour in my lips like ever so slightly. So now that we've done our lip liner, I've basically coloured in my whole lip, and then I'm just gonna use the liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Sand, and I'm just gonna very lightly put it in the middle and then use my finger to so now that the makeup is complete i'm going to zoom you out and we'll see what it looks like okay so this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed watching this little mini tutorial of my version of a soft glam i know it didn't really end up looking very soft but i don't really tend to do that natural of an eye look so yeah i hope you enjoyed like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video